Today we're going to be taking some photos with the Sony a7C2 and the Samyang 35mm f2.8 and what I love about this kit is the fact that this is super tiny it almost weighs like nothing it's super lightweight and super comfortable to shoot to hold and it's a super enjoyable experience and it's been a while since I have did one of these kind of POV videos but I just got the Osmo Action 4 so I'm curious what this tiny thing can do I had to take the boat to go to the city since there was an electricity outage and the trams didn't work. It's the first time ever I've taken this boat and it was pretty fun and a fast experience. By taking this boat it also leads us to go through these super cool tunnels. This could make for a great photo. Alright, this is a pretty decent shot. I think this composition would be better if the people stood like a bit further over there. Not sure if this statue looks good on frame. I don't like the crane in the background, so I gotta frame it like this. It's pretty funny like how they're looking at his balls. <laughs> Kinda weird. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Let's continue. Honestly, this setup right here is so enjoyable. It's so lightweight. It almost feels like you're holding a toy and you're just having fun, enjoying yourself. Oh, this is a nice composition from the castle over here. Nice. A horizontal one is even better. Let's back up a tiny bit and let's frame this flag in between these three branches over here. That's nice. Oh shit, we're actually missing a subject going through the street right now. Let's get a horizontal one as well, if I'm not missing it. Okay, pretty decent. Oh, this is actually a nice composition from here as well. These are the kind of streets you should aim to find because there's some very nice contrast going on over here because you have these darker parts over here of the houses and on top you have this like glowing light, which is really nice. I almost forgot that I still wanted to get a composition of here, like framing it like this in between these buildings and create some extra depth. Anyway, but by using foreground elements and buildings and objects to frame your subject, that can create some really nice depth in your images. A very dope spot over here as well. Just look at this street, very nice. A 24 millimeter probably would have worked better over here, but yeah, we gotta make it work, right? I also got the Samyang 24 millimeter f2.8, which is also a super tiny, small pancake lens, but we're going to shoot with that lens on a different time. So I also wanted to get a composition of this this sign over here because I really like it it's really old school and I think I could make the colors pop nicely so let's try some different compositions with more sky and less sky if you want to achieve similar color grades for both your videos or photos you can get my LUTs or DaVinci Resolve power grades or presets in the link in the description down below thank you so much for the support there is so many nice compositions from from here, from this spot. The contrast over here is just so good. And these will even work as well. <laughs> I 
This is a pretty funny spot, but it actually really sucks because the framing is really weird. Hmm, this might be a nice spot to camp. I want to wait for a ride. Subject. But like I was saying, this is a really weird frame because when you look through it, it really sucks. Or, hmm, it's actually okay, but they could have done a better job because there's like a lantern pole in front of it and stuff, which I don't really like. This one might work as well because the contrast is pretty good over here with the harsh lights on top of these buildings and then our subject a bit further over there. This is a really dope looking street as well. I think this could make for a cool composition as well. This is a pretty cool looking door. Maybe I should start a project like doors of Antwerp do you think that might be cool and I'm not talking about like newer modern doors but like a more classical old school ones I think that would be pretty cool I'm really curious to see how this Osmo Action 4 footage it's going to look like because in the past I had the GoPro Hero 10 I think and I wasn't that happy with how the footage came out I'm hoping that this is going to be better but I'm pretty positive that it's going to be pretty decent because I really love DJI and what they're doing their UI and their software are just so great so that gives me quite some confidence Nice, this one is going to be a nice one as well. Especially because we have a subject over there. And subjects usually make a photo more interesting. And over here we have our beautiful cathedral, of course. There we go. Pretty classic shots, nothing that special. Ah, shit. We had a good subject over there. But we still got him. I actually wanted to get a photo of the man to the left side of me, but there are cops behind of him, so I think it's better to not take a photo of them. Maybe we could like back up a little bit and get a photo of him like this. Ah, that's nice. He's actually going to the, into the right street. Maybe this street might work because we have a subject over there. This will be a pretty cool one as well, I think. Where shall we go to? This is a nice looking door. Really old school. And then with the pigeons passing it. There we go. Let's keep on going.
There are honestly so many nice streets over here through which I'm barely going. These flowers over here look pretty nice. In this scenario, a 24 millimeter would have worked better. But sometimes that's the great thing about limiting yourself with just one lens and a lens through which you cannot zoom, right? Because it makes you think outside of the box and, and you can always come back later to get a specific kind of composition that you wanted. So. This is pretty interesting. Ah, this is a nice red door over here. And a purple one as well over there. It's going to be pretty tight with the 35 millimeter, I think. And this one over here is pretty nice as well. But it's going to be even tighter. Ah, shit. I had to change my exposure, so I missed a subject going past that, but we got another one, so we're good. I still want to get a horizontal one as well, because you should never forget your horizontal ones, you guys. Well, come here with next to you. Hey. Oh, that's shit again. This is pretty creepy, but kind of cool at the same time. Just look at this. Can you imagine people doing this to like modern buildings? You'll never see something like this. All right, let's go. Very nice composition. I'm really enjoying these narrow streets with not too much people in them. I actually enjoy taking photos of people when they're just doing their thing while I'm not really intruding them, you know? Very nice. BMW H1 looks pretty cool. composition of the cathedral over here from this spot gotta get a bit closer this spot will work better but we have the umbrellas over there which actually sucks get a tiny bit closer hmm not such a fan of the composition anymore from here but yeah
That's a nice one. Even though I'm more of an Audi fan, it still looks pretty cool. This is a pretty nice spot over here with the Hilton Hotel in the background. Really like it. Uh, this is a very nice old school shop over here. This one? Yeah, definitely gonna get a good composition of that. I gotta revisit this spot though with the 24 millimeter for sure. I feel like it's a tiny bit too tight right now. I wish I would have captured that Porsche, but it's a bit too far right now. Is that a surf? The light is really beautiful today. I mean, there's not too much detail, but I feel like it's still nice. Oh, and that's a nice composition of the Buratora, it's called over here. So basically like the farmer's tower or something like that. And now I have it framed nicely in between these two. I don't know how to call them, things over there. This one's pretty nice with the red glowing sea over there. And the glowing sky is pretty cool as well over here. I would absolutely recommend this kit, so the Sony A7C2 with the Samyang 35mm f2.8 because, as I said, it's super lightweight the autofocus is really fast and I never felt like I was shooting with a cheap lens. Probably due to the fact that the Sony a7C II has and optically this might not be the best lens, of course. I mean, you get what you pay for, but, but it still shot some nice photos and this will be my everyday carry kit for the foreseeable future. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed watching this video, you'll probably enjoy watching one of these as well. Come out. Peace.